Today is a day where I don't even know. Hey hey and welcome to this video. My name is Nina and in today's video we are going to be working on Nook's Granny in our little abandoned lost post-apocalyptic city. So without further ado, let's walk over to the nook that we will tuck nooks into. <laughs> so funny, already off to an amazing start. Again, as per usual, what can I say? So this is the little area that we have kind of created during stream on Thursday. And we decided that nooks would fit very well in this little nook. So let's just hop right into it. So I'm starting off by just framing and kind of lining all the walls and the building itself with this little concrete tile that I've downloaded. Again, codes will be online and available very, very soon. I'm currently working on getting all the credits together. So just a little longer and then we will finally have all of them together. I'm very excited for you to finally be able to, to know which codes I used. Oh, that sounded very weird. But yeah, because I have gotten quite a bunch of questions and I am excited for all of you to, to also use them because those creators are amazing and what would this game be without the custom design creators, you know? And then I just kind of went in and built all of this empty space up with the road code, like the middle part of the road custom code that I made myself. And I will just then later be going in and doing my little usual adding in some holes so that I can add plants, you know. <laughs> and um, yeah, then I can actually not say too, too much about what I did because I had absolutely no clue, which is also why this build is so short because this build took me as long as like my usual builds do. So about three hours, I think. They usually take me between two and four hours and I think this one was like two hours and 45 minutes or something like that but I was just playing around with items so much and I was shifting turning regrouping anything that you can imagine and I just filtered out a bunch because obviously it gave me a headache and I don't want you guys to get a headache so um yeah, obviously I did leave some of the shifts and, and tweaks and everything in because this is not a perfect speed build and I don't want to make it look like it was one. So um, yeah, you just kind of get a softer version of it, you know, so that you don't have to get a headache. I, I already get, got it. So that's enough people to get a headache, you know? So um, yeah, while I'm doing my thing and figuring this whole area out, I actually have a thing a thing a subject that i wanted to touch on because what the f you guys are incredible i woke up this morning um it's currently monday about seven and a half ish and i woke up this morning to about 700 subs which i didn't think i would hit before the next video would be up because i usually get a few subs whenever I upload or I don't and then that's it which is fine by me but what is happening I am so overwhelmed by all of your support lately it is incredible and I always say that I try to not care about all the numbers and stuff and just have fun with it but when stuff like this happens I just get I don't know what to say. I'm just so incredibly thankful and happy to see our little community grow and like make more friends because that's truly and honestly just what it feels like hanging out with you guys in stream in the discord in the comment section i am just so incredibly thankful for each and every single one of you guys and then waking up to stuff like this just makes me incredibly thankful and happy and it's something that i always just can't stop smiling upon so Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support. Also for all the support on the past few videos because it is incredible how you guys respond to them and like all your comments. I love replying to them. I love reading them and I just I just don't know how to deal with that. It's, it's amazing and again, I just love all of you. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for, for, for showing me that apparently you enjoy the stuff that I do even though I never imagined anyone to do so so yeah I just can say I don't know what I don't know what to say just thank you I I love you I love you I really love you <laughs> 
So um, yeah, while I was gushing about all of you because you y- y'all deserve it, y'all deserve it, and I'm saying y'all, so I mean it, you know. <laughs> I just kind of finished up for like now because we will shift and tweak and stuff as I always do throughout the building. But I kind of finished up breaking up the pathing. That's what she says as she now just kicks off more custom designs to do another hole to put put a little flower into i don't even know what what i'm talking about anymore <laughs> um but we will also be working on this little alleyway that we have kind of leading up to nooks so we will be working a bit on covering up the sides which i was struggling with because i I don't know why, I just thought I would line the whole thing with, with simple panels like I'm doing right now with the walls next to and like surrounding nooks kind of. But in the end we will end up putting a loft bed there, call it today, perfectly cover up the cliff edge because it was a pain and this is already lag city so any area that I can spare simple panels I will I will take that opportunity because I can maybe show you on stream on Thursday but as you run through the harbor area it takes a whole f***ing second to load all the items and all the simple panels. It takes a while for all of that to load. And we are just in the beginning of this of this island and I don't even know. I don't even know. This is, this is, today is a day where I don't even know. This is the motto for today, apparently. <laughs> oh god, what am I saying? But yeah, I then just kind of... Twisted, tweaked, regrouped. I played around with a bunch of different blue tones because Nooks itself does have some blue in it. So I felt like this would be a good area to implement some more blue tones to, you know, go with the corporate identity of Nooks Granny as a as a graphic designer, you know, that that's what makes my heart happy. And um, yeah, I'm actually really happy with all the groups and like all the cardboard boxes that I got to use because I love them so so incredibly much and um yeah another thing that i just get so many questions on is on how i plan my bills and how i plan my island now i can only touch on that very very briefly here and i might do that on stream on thursday or in a separate video or something that's something you would be interested in i would gladly do that if I can even do that because to be very honest I don't really plan my bills I usually get my ideas as I'm building by either getting inspired by a picture that I see on Pinterest or by items in my storage or by the DIY catalog on Instagram it, it happens in random moments and I really don't there's no right or reason to why or when I get my inspiration But for the whole flow discussion, kind of how to improve your island's flow, I can only say so much that I have really been enjoying building very, very intuitively. So what I mean by that is that whenever I walk a certain way, like for example, back behind Nook's Granny, there's currently nothing going on. I mean, there will be a neighborhood, but let's just say I was not sure what to put there, okay? And it would be just an, an open blank space. I would basically just walk up that incline and see where I would naturally go. Like, would I, would I naturally tend to go to the left? Would I go to the right? And what would I expect there? Would I, would I expect there to be anything tall or open? Would I like to incorporate some greeny, <gasps> greenery? Like, what would feel natural for me to in, expect in that area, if that makes sense? So... And building that way has just helped me so much with coming up with ideas. Again, I have no idea if I'm making sense right now, but that's basically what I do. And I know it doesn't make sense, but at this point, you all know that I don't make sense. Either while I'm talking, nor while I'm doing anything else on the island, basically. Nice shot! So yeah, that's basically all I have to say on a brief note, kind of. So yeah, but if you would like a video where I touch on all that like inspiration, coming up with ideas, planning your island stuff, please let me down, let me down. Please let me down, guys. (laughs) Please let me know in the comment section down below as I would try to give you a good guide kind of on how I do it because obviously also inspiration is a very unique thing and it comes to different people in different ways and 
it even comes to the same people in different ways and 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 time at different times. I don't even know what, what I'm talking about right now. But yeah, I then actually left the build for a hot minute and get, came back a day later, which is also why we got that very harsh transition in lighting a minute ago. And I don't know, I just felt like something was missing. And then I came back later and like a day later and I felt like I was missing some trees. And let's be honest, what is one of my builds without implementing any trees? You know, wh who am I? Who am I and what have I done to Nina, you know? So I actually implemented some trees, which I think helped this area so much coming together and it just felt so much fuller and more lush and just more overgrown, which is exactly again what we're going for. You could spot a little bit of item lag in the in the left corner there. I will maybe just pop in a replay. I don't even know. Maybe not. You know what? No, you will just have to go back. I don't know if I will do that. We, we will see. Anywho, I then just kind of had to tweak this whole building thing that we have going on in f like right at the entrance kind of um, because I was initially planning to pop the simple panels there as I said a minute ago but I then put down the loft bed that I mentioned and I just think it just helped the area so much to just look a bit fuller and I didn't have to add more items which again I'm very happy about because item lag is a real thing on this island it's lag city I have teased it before and it has proven itself to 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 become reality you know so then i actually wanted just one item with movement so i decided to go with this clothing line and then adding and touching on that topic of building intuitively i accidentally kicked off a custom design code and i actually decided that that was a good thing that happened so i kicked off a bunch more and did my whole concrete in the ground whole thing <clears throat> uh, to add a flower to because that way I didn't have to include any more items to lag up the area but it still felt fuller and the flowers move in the wind so I feel like that also helps to fill it up a bit I don't know if that makes sense to you but that's also the same reason why I decided to go with a clothesline because it's moving and I feel like just that fills up the area more than a than like a static item would. Am I making sense to you guys? I'm not making sense to me either. And I feel like I've said that in a, in the couple in a couple videos lately. Is that a good thing? I don't think so. But we will we will just move right past that. And then I just exchanged the little fence because again I picked it up in the process of um, kicking off more custom designs and I felt like a different fence would be be a lot better here than the one that I had here previously so that also happened intuitively you know what I mean then I just fixed up this little building that I had to steal a stall off the other day so um yeah we fixed that very sneakily very very subtly then I just added some more simple panels to the back side of Nook's Cranny here to fill up the space cover that cliff edge because we we don't want cliff edges on this island we, no no we don't want them we don't want them all of this is a city and um I will convince you that it is I don't know what that just was Then I just dropped a bunch of items and I love this little um, dropped can on the puddle. Again, shout out to Victoria for giving me so many trash items. And um, yeah, I just cut, I just, why do I say cut off? I mean to say kicked off custom designs to um, exchange them for some of the newspaper custom codes that I pop in there for variety and make it feel a bit more detailed, a bit more trashy, you know, we, we love a bit of trashiness on this island. And um, yeah, then I just added a bunch more details and then the grandest thing during the existence of this island happened, which is I have talked about the trash bag item and DIY for a while now. And I thought that I didn't have that DIY. Now you can probably tell what's coming now because the other day I was going through my DIY section, checking it out to, you know, come up with ideas. And guess what I found in my own DIY section? You guessed right, the trash bag DIY. So I just got to crafting, I customized it and I put it down and I am 
a happy bee now. So, and then I just sprinkled in a few more touches here and there, and then that just actually wraps up the build for today. So, I'm going to leave you now with a montage of the finished product. If you enjoyed this video, I would very, very much appreciate it if you like and subscribe to the channel, as I would love to have you here. Thank you so much again for all this love and support. I love you back. I'm very much looking forward to chatting to you guys on the Discord or in the comment section. So yeah, take care of yourself. Until next time and bye-bye.